same way. Uh, you know, I just have to get the stiffness out probably. And, any soreness at all? Is there any anything that you're apprehensive about? Not, not really. You know, I just do anything as I would in the game or practice. Or, it just hasn't been bothering me. So that's good. How much of a relief was your shoulders just to get out there and skate with the guys? Oh, it's awesome. You know, uh, skating, skating with no goalie for the last couple weeks doesn't really help you know, But, you know, once you get to the practice the team and uh, you know, get to do different drills and gives a little side relief. Um, well, I'm going to have to protect it, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to shy away from doing anything that I wouldn't have. So just play the way I have been. Well, I'll probably, I probably will, like a wrist guard, or, you know, just to protect the pad or something like that. Where are you right now in your comeback? Are you close? I don't know. We're going to go see the doctor this afternoon. And, uh, we'll see what they'll say. How are your spirits and how do you feel physically? I feel pretty good. I've been skating the last three days. and uh, I feel pretty good. You know, the concussion is, uh, is kind of uh, sometimes hard to deal with, so it takes time. You know, you don't want to rush it. So. I did some testing, you know, in the last couple of days, and uh, today I'm going to do some other testing in the hospital. And, uh, I guess it will go from there. Has Patrice Bergeron or Savard given you any words of encouragement or advice about how to handle this? Uh, no, well, we all know what it is. I had a concussion before four years ago. This is my second one. But, uh, you know, our doctors, they all know what to do. With, with very good sign, we don't right. talk about you know, injuries and stuff like that. We just talk to friends and sometimes. Has it continuously gotten better, or has there been like dips here and there where? It no, it did get better. I, I did uh, three or four days ago. I did. Uh, I, did uh, I was good to do a bike test and, and I passed it. So then I was good to go to scale on the ice. So that's where I'm right now. So like I said, this afternoon I'm doing another test at the hospital and uh, we'll go from there. How hard is it for you to put a date on it? Because I know you just want to get back out there and, and help the team. How hard is it for you to say, let's wait for this to pass? Well, I, I really hope this afternoon I'm going to get uh, uh, a little more, you know, when, uh, when I'll come back. So keeping my uh, finger crossed, you know, but it does come out well, and uh, they'll tell me exactly when, uh, when I can do it. Do you have any symptoms now? Uh, well, I just had a really good back, back skate right now for the first time, so I still feel a little, uh, a little tired, you know. Uh, it's kind of hard to say if uh, it's a right question or if it doesn't scare me. So, uh, so it's, it's weird, you know, but uh, it's exciting. I'm not looking forward to the testing this afternoon. And, uh, Peter had said you had headaches yeah. and originally. Do you have headaches now? Uh, well, right now, uh, I didn't have a headache on the ice, but uh, right now, like I said, uh, I don't know if it's from concussion or from uh, getting scared. Just talk about New Jersey. Uh, you know, you're working on your transition game, and they're pretty good at clogging up the middle. Just comment on how they do it. Yeah, I mean, we played them already, and uh, you know, again, <coughs> it took us a while to get going, and, and they're building also. I mean, I'm scoring the first goal. Uh, I think right now, uh, no matter who we play, we still got to worry about our game. Uh, they do, do a good job, but there's a lot of teams that do a good job in the neutral zone as well. We really have to focus on, uh, on moving that puck and moving it with some speed through the neutral zone. And uh, obviously, that's the, an area we worked on yesterday, but there was more to our game that we needed to do uh, better as well. And that was defending the neutral zone as well, which we worked on. And uh, other things that we showed on, on video that we didn't go out there and practice. So uh, we just got to be ready to play a, a tough game here tonight. There, uh, team that has uh, got good size and they, uh, they try and wear you down and try and make you break as everybody says and uh, when you do then they've got you beat. Coach, how have you rationalized the concussions that have been important players in this organization? Is it, is it been a lot of bad luck or a unit from someplace else? Yeah, I guess <coughs> some people would say is it because of our style or is it because of how we play? But I, I really think you know, the, the Bergeron one was I don't think
think it uh, could have been any player on any team in that specific situation getting hit like that from behind uh, into the dasher board. I guess there's anybody would have had the same result. Savard is the same to me. You look the same as, uh, as Booth hit last year. And, uh, you know, Gretchen was a bit of a tough luck. I, we don't know exactly where it happened, whether it was on impact or whether when he hit the boards or, or hit the ice. But uh, nonetheless, right now he's a... Uh, He's doing much better, a lot quicker than those other two have. So it's tough. It's a, I mean, we, we all talk about it. it's a really touchy subject, and I think we're all uh, unanimously trying to uh, make it better, and try and avoid those uh, situations. But uh, somehow, it's you know, it's still in our game, and uh, we all hope that someday we can find a solution to really minimize those concussions. Has David been symptom free as far as I guess they said earlier on with headaches? So from what you're hearing from the doctors, has he been symptom free? Is that why we need to keep pumping? Yeah, as, you know, as long as we're telling you that we're moving forward with right. him, it's because uh, those symptoms uh, have <coughs> slowly uh, gone away, and uh, he's passed the, the different exertion tests and, and so on and so forth. So he's he's in uh, he's heading in that direction, and I think he mentioned to you, some of you guys anyway that he's. Uh, He'll be uh, seeing a doctor again today and then hopefully taking another step uh, forward. We're, we're a month in here now. Uh, close. We've talked a lot about Tyler and his adjustments and what he's done. For, for Jordan Caron, have you seen the necessary adjustments and adapting to the NHL and all that? Yeah, I think so. I think both of them are, uh, uh, have adapted. And, you know, and right now, I think what they're, they're looking at is, is the grind of our schedule. You know, they're no different than anybody else. Uh, you know, playing our fourth game here in six nights and uh, you know, a little bit of travel in, in between and, and heading to New York tomorrow. So uh, they're getting used to that as well. It's a, it's a little different than probably what they're used to. But, uh, you know, uh, that's part of the game as well. You know, when you play consecutive games and uh, uh, those kind of things, uh, when you're not used to it, it takes a while. And, uh, you know, I guess for both of them, positively, junior uh, – Junior schedule is probably the closest to that, and uh, so you hope to adapt uh, uh, quickly. Quick, quickly.